Hello, hello, and welcome back to music, everyone. It's great to see you again. Just like every week, we're going to start with our message, which is right up here. Let's read it all together. Hello, musicians. Today, we will warm up our bodies and voices, then remember a song from last time with a new part. We will remember the song about ache and drum and finish with another song tale. Love, Mr. Donnelly. All right, let's start our warm-up. All right, get out those slide whistles and let's do a couple patterns together. Remember, I'll play my real slide whistle and you use your voice to make it sound like mine. Here's the first one. Here's another one. Great, go ahead and put those away. And now be my echo using your voice. You who, you who students, you who students, you who students, you who students. Great. Let's head over to the piano and sing our warm-up song. All right, here we go. Well, hello, everybody. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Well, hello, everybody. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, my darling. Let's make music. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Well, let's make music. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, my darling. All right, friends, I have one of my favorite stories to share with you, but I'm going to need your help to tell the story, just like our ice cream story before. And this one's called Cowboy Joe. Some of you might know it. Now, every time you hear me say that Cowboy Joe let out his cowboy call, I'm going to need you to go like this. Yeah! Can you try that? Yeah! How? Let's try it one more time. When he lets out his cowboy call, he says, Yeah! How? All right, here's the story of Cowboy Joe. Cowboy Joe was a bold young man. He dreamed of rustling cattle most of all. He wanted to see if the cows would come when he let out his cowboy call. Yeah! He practiced all day from morning to night, and he practiced both summer and fall. He knew someday he'd have his chance to try out his cowboy call. yoo Well, finally one day, it was proudly announced that his ma and pa and all were taking a trip to his grandfather's ranch where he could try out his cowboy call. yoo he jumped for joy and grabbed his gear, and he ran back down the hall. He hopped into the car and was ready to go to let out his cowboy call. Yee-haw! Well, they all did come right up to the fence, and he sure felt ten feet tall. I'm Cowboy Joe. See how the cows come when I let out my cowboy call? Yee-haw! Now that was really some day for Cowboy Joe, and he sure did have a ball. Now he's wanting to try bigger and better things, so he's practicing his elephant call. Ooh, I wonder what that might sound like. All right, friends, we're going to practice our steady beat, but today you're only allowed to do the steady beat with me if I'm doing the steady beat. So if I'm going like this, you can do that along with me. If I'm going like this, you're allowed to do it too. If I'm going like this, you're allowed to do it too. But if you see me doing something bumpy, something not steady at all, we call that rhythm. You're going to cross your arms and shake your head, and you're going to think, no way, Mr. Donnelly, uh-uh. That's not a steady beat. Let me give you an example. If you see something like this... Whoa, that was not steady at all. You're going to cross your arms and shake your head. Mm -mm, mm -mm. If you see something like this, 
See how bumpy that was? You're going to cross your arm, shake your head. Mm -hmm. What about this? Uh, not steady at all, right? Cross your arm, shake your head. But if I do something steady again, you're allowed to, pr you're allowed to copy that steady beat. Are you ready to play? All right, here we go. Remember, if it's steady, you can do it with me. Uh-oh. Do you see that? Not steady. Cross your arms. Here we go. Very steady. Uh-oh. Are you crossing your arms? Good. Back to a steady beat. All right, I'm going to make it a little bit trickier on you. Good luck. Uh-oh. Did you catch it? to a steady beat. <laughs> that was fun. Thanks for playing. All right, friends, let's remember our Down by the Bay Echo song, and then we'll add a new part today. It's pretty silly. Now, remember, for this song, all you have to do is be my echo. Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, where the watermelons grow. Back to my home, back to my home. I dare not go, I dare not. For if I do, for if I do, my mother would say, my mother would say, Did you ever see a bear combing his hair down by the bay, down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow? Back to my home, back to my home. I dare not go. For if I do, my mother would say, Did you ever see llamas wearing pajamas down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow? Back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother would say, Did you ever see a whale with a polka dotted tail? Nope. <laughs> Down by the bay. All right, friends, I have to tell you, I am very, very frustrated today. Have you ever been very frustrated about something? Well, let me tell you what I'm very frustrated about today. For a couple years now, I've planted a garden in my backyard, and every single year, this same rabbit goes into my garden and eats all of my food out of my garden. Can you believe that? Wouldn't you be frustrated too? Well, I've gotten to know this rabbit now, so I've given him a name. I call him John the Rabbit. Now, I even have a little song about John the Rabbit, and it goes like this. Oh, John the Rabbit, oh yes. Oh, John the Rabbit, oh yes. He's got a mighty bad habit, oh yes, of going in my garden, oh yes, and eating up my cabbage, oh yes. He ate potatoes, oh yes, and sweet tomatoes, oh yes. And if I live, oh yes, to see next fall, oh yes, I won't plant, oh yes, a garden at all, oh yes. 
All right, so I'm going to need your help with this song. Did you hear the part that keeps on repeating through the song? It's the part that goes, oh, yes. Did you hear that part? That's the part that I need you to help me with. Now, when you sing it, make sure you're not using your Mr. Donnelly voice. I have a very low voice, remember? I need you to use your voice. Your voice sounds like this. Oh, yes. Can you try that? Oh, yes. Let's do a practice one. When I sing, you sing. Oh, yes. No matter what I sing, you'll sing. Oh, yes. Awesome. Let's try it with the song. Oh, John the Rabbit. Oh, yes. Oh, John the Rabbit. Oh, yes. He's got a mighty bad habit. Oh, yes. Of going in my garden. Oh, yes. And eating up my cabbage. Oh, yes. He ate potatoes. Oh, yes. And sweet potatoes. Oh, yes. And if I live, oh, yes, to see next fall. Oh, yes. I won't plant, oh, yes, a garden at all. Oh, yes. Can we try it one more time? Make sure you're using that really good voice of yours. Oh, yes. Here it goes. Oh, John the Rabbit. Oh, yes. Oh, John the Rabbit. Oh, yes. It's got a mighty bad habit oh, yes. of going in my garden and eating up my cabbage. He ate potatoes and sweet potatoes tomatoes and if i live to see next fall i won't plant a garden at all thanks for singing with me all right last week i shared with you the song about the man in the moon named aiken drum and I shared my version of Ache and Drum, but I bet some of you have created your own version of Ache and Drum. And if you haven't yet, you should do that now. Now, if you want to go back and watch my video, you can. But today we're going to get to sing about your Ache and Drum. So you're going to change all of the words to match what you made your Aiken drum. Before we do that, let's remember the main part of the song went like this. There was a man lived in the moon, lived in the moon, lived in the moon. There was a man lived in the moon and his name was Aiken drum. Will you sing that with me this time? There lived a man in the moon, in the moon, in the moon. There lived a man in the moon and his name was Aiken drum. Good. So now we're going to sing each one of the parts. So what was his head made of? Are you ready to sing about your Aiken Drum's head? His head was made of a... His head was made of a... And his name was Aiken Drum. Oh, I wonder what your Aiken Drum's body was made of. Here we go. His body is made of a... His body was made of a, and his name was Aiken Drum. Oh, what was your Aiken Drum's legs made out of? His legs were made of. His legs were made of, and his name was Aiken Drum. What about your Aiken Drum's arms? What were they made out of? His arms were made of. His arms were made up, and his name was Aiken Drum. What about your Aiken Drum's eyes? What were they made out of? His eyes were made up. His eyes were made up, and his name was Aiken Drum. Hmm. What was your Aiken Drum's nose made out of? Here we go. His nose was made up. His nose was made up, and his name was Aiken Drum. What was your Aiken Drum's mouth made of? His mouth was made of. His mouth was made of, and his name was Aiken Drum. And what was your Aiken Drum's hair made out of? His hair was made of. 
hair was made of, and his name was Aiken Drum. Let's go back and sing the main part together. Here we go. There was a man lived in the moon, lived in the moon, lived in the moon. There was a man lived in the moon, and his name was Aiken Drum. All right, friends, this week's song tells one of my favorites. It's Mama Buy Me a China Doll. I hope you enjoy it. The story goes like this. One day while on the farm, little Liza Jane was outside when a peddler came to town. Now, there were lots of things on that peddler's cart, but one of the things was a China doll. Now, when Liza Jane saw that China doll, she just had to run back home to ask her mama, Mama, buy me a China doll. Mama, buy me a China doll. Mama, buy me a China doll. Do, Mommy, do. Well, of course, Mommy said, Well, little Liza Jane, how in the world are we going to pay for that China doll? Little Liza Jane said, We could sell Daddy's feather bed, sell Daddy's feather bed, sell Daddy's feather bed. Do, Mommy, do. Oh, Mommy said, Well, Liza Jane, if we sell Daddy's feather bed, where's Daddy going to sleep? And she said, he could sleep in the horsey's bed, sleep in the horsey's bed, sleep in the horsey's bed. Do, mommy, do. Well, now, Liza Jane, if we sell daddy's feather bed and daddy has to sleep in the horsey's bed, where are the horsies going to sleep? They could sleep in sister's bed, sleep in sister's bed, sleep in sister's bed. Do, mommy, do. Well, now, Liza Jane, if we sell daddy's feather bed and daddy has to sleep in the horsey's bed and horsey has to sleep in sister's bed, where is sister going to sleep? She could sleep in the baby's bed, sleep in the baby's bed, sleep in the baby's bed. Do, Mommy, do. Little Liza Jane, if we sell Daddy's feather bed and Daddy has to sleep in the horsey's bed and horsey has to sleep in sister's bed and sister has to sleep in the baby's bed, where is the baby going to sleep? She could sleep in the kitten's bed, sleep in the kitten's bed, sleep in the kitten's bed. Do, Mommy, do. Well, now, Liza Jane, she said, if we sell Daddy's feather bed and Father has to sleep in the horsey's bed and the horsey has to sleep in Sister's bed and Sister has to sleep in the baby's bed and the baby has to sleep in the kitten's bed, where are the kittens going to sleep? They could go to the chicken coop, go to the chicken coop, go to the chicken coop. Do, Mommy, do. Well, now, Liza Jane, this is getting ridiculous, she said. If we sell Daddy's feather bed and Daddy has to sleep in Horsey's bed and Horsey has to sleep in Sister's bed and Sister has to sleep in the baby's bed and the baby has to sleep in the kitten's bed and the kittens have to go to the chicken coop. Where are the chickens going to roost? <laughs> they could roost on grandma's rocking chair, roost on grandma's rocking chair, roost on grandma's rocking chair. Do, mommy, do. Now, Liza Jane, this is getting out of hand, she said. If we sell daddy's feather bed and daddy has to sleep in the horsey's bed and the horsey has to sleep in sister's bed and sister has to sleep in the baby's bed and the baby has to sleep in the kitten's bed and the kittens have to go to the chicken coop and the chickens are going to roost on grandma's rocking chair, where in the world is grandma going to sit? She could sit in the piggy pen, sit in the piggy pen, sit in the piggy pen. Do, Mommy, do. Now, Liza Jane, this is out of hand, she said. 
if we sell daddy's feather bed and feather and daddy has to sleep in the horsey's bed and the horsey's have to sleep in sister's bed and sister has to sleep in the baby's bed and the baby has to sleep in kitten's bed and kittens have to go to the chicken coop and the chickens have to roost on grandma's rocking chair and grandma has to sit in the piggy pen where are the piggies gonna sleep? They could sleep in my own bed, sleep in my own bed, sleep in my own bed. Do, mommy, do. Liza Jane, Liza Jane, Liza Jane, she said three times. You're telling me if we sell daddy's feather bed and Daddy has to sleep in the horse's bed, and the horse he has to sleep in sister's bed, and sister has to sleep in the baby's bed, and the baby has to sleep in the kitten's bed, and the kittens have to go to the chicken coop, and the chickens are going to roost on grandma's rocking chair, grandma's going to have to sit in the piggy pen, and the piggies are going to sleep in your own bed. Well, Liza Jane, where are you going to sleep? You know what she said? She said, I could sleep in mama's lap. Sleep in mama's lap, sleep in mama's lap, do mommy do. Well, after that, you know, mama gave in and she did get that China doll after all. <laughs>